Reporter Francis Mtalaki now joins us for an update. Mtalaki, earlier on, the Jubilee candidate Suleiman Shah Baal was cleared by the IEBC. But of course, the politics in the coast are very heated, especially for the position of governor. Well, good afternoon, Akisa. And indeed, uh, the gubernatorial aspirant for uh, ju Jubilee, th that is Suleiman Shabal, has been cleared. And uh, earlier on, he spoke to a number of politics with, here in Mombasa, uh, saying that uh, uh, what the governor, the incumbent, who is Governor Ali Hassan Joe, has been saying with regard to the president's speech, he says that uh, at some point that uh, the governor needs to understand what, what the Jubilee has been doing. And two, he also mentioned uh, the politics of Mombasa. I remember the Kenya Post Authority is one of the uh, uh, one of the one of the parasitos here in Mombasa that conduct business and the economy of Mombasa basically uh, saying that uh, uh, what the Jubilee administration has been doing with regard to the MOU that was signed uh, by between KPA and uh, the Kenya Railway and, 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 and together with the national government uh, indeed is the best thing and saying that the, the, the governor needs to understand uh, how MOUs work in major projects uh, uh, such as the SGR but more importantly I would want uh, want to involve some of the uh, jubilee, jubilee supporters under uh, the uh, Costa uh, Inter Communities uh, Association. Maybe you can begin by telling us your name and uh, uh, briefly uh, how is uh, the, the the campaign so far? Given that now you are one of your candidates has been cleared. Yeah, thank you. My name is uh, Tomaka Olemasenke. I'm one of the Inter Community Caucus, and so far we can say the uh, the campaign is very good. And we are very happy that our candidate has already been cleared. And now uh, we are set for the campaign for him and the president. And to looking at the politics of Mombasa, as a resident or someone who stays in this region, what would you want maybe to be addressed by, any, uh, by, the, by, the, by the governor who will be coming for the 2017 to 2022? Yeah, if you listen very carefully uh, concerning uh, his vision, I can uh, uh, really convince you that... Uh, the governor has a good vision for this uh, town uh, as far as uh, the port of Mombasa is concerned and even the development of the entire town uh, concerning the rubbish and uh, how to bring people together in one, uh, in one unity. It seems to be he has a very good plan for this uh, town of Mombasa and that's why we are supporting him and the president of the Republic of Kenya. Of course, uh, this is an opposition stronghold given by the fact that the last two general elections and the uh, sitting member of parliament, also the senators are here, uh, are from the opposition. What makes you believe that this time round that uh, you're going to have it? Oh, we have the numbers. I believe that uh, whatever we have said, uh, the plan we have and we have set on the ground, we believe that our, child, uh, our opponents now, they will not uh, see the smooth way they think uh, they have the numbers in Mombasa. We can assure that Jubilee is getting a chance in Mombasa right now. But well, some politics even to the, uh, what, the, what many, many are saying that uh, uh, the Jubilee and the Jubilee Brigade here in Mombasa seems to come to life when the president is here and the deputy. Uh, that's not true. That's not true. Uh, I can assure you that even uh, the Mombasa now, right now, the, there's the clearance of the governor. Uh, it has already sent a message that there is a, a powerful, a powerful message in Mombasa that Jubilee is alive in Mombasa. Yeah. Maybe you can allow me to talk to the lady here. And Akisa, this is one of the uh, Jubilee supporters. Maybe you can begin by telling us your name and tell me how does it feel as a Jubilee supporter that now that uh, your candidate has been cleared? My name is Caroline Mawasi. I'm in the family of inter-community caucus here in Mombasa. Kwa ufupi sisi watu wa inter community hapa tumeamua ku support governor wetu Shabal na tunashukuru Mungu siku ya leo amepata certificate yake na tunataka tuleta mabadiliko katika kaunti yetu ya Mombasa cha pili tunataka kutembea na president wetu na deputy wake na tuwa support hapa Mombasa hata wao wanapoingia hapa waone kweli kuna jubili hapa Mombasa na tuko tayari lakini ni nimesema sala la maendeleo na ukisema sala la maendeleo kitu muhimu hapa Mombasa ni bandari ya Mombasa wewe kwa mtazamo wako unaona ni sawa jinsi eh, serikali ilivyofanya au eh, lalama ambazo gavana amekuwa kilalamikia kisema kwamba ule mkataba eh, wa bandari ya Kenya eh, ya hii ya Mombasa iweze kupelekwa katika upande wa SGR waweze kulipa wao wenyewe serikali haijakosea popote 
ile kitu hatujaelewa ni jinsi ya kufanya kazi pamoja tukijua kuishi pamoja na kufanya kazi mapamoja hatuwezi hamisha badali ya Mombasa bahali kwa hapa Mombasa hatuwezi ipeleka naifasha kwa hivyo ni sisi watu wa Mombasa tuungane tuwe kitu kimoja tufanye kazi kwa amani na baadaye tutaona matunda yake na serikali kwa tayari kutembea na sisi wewe kama mkazi iwapo yeyote atakayeshinda awe ni Suleiman Shabal ama gavana wa sasa wewe utataka aweze kuangazia mambo gani kama mkazi wa Mombasa hasa kuna swala la wachuzi wadogo ambao wamehangaishwa kwa muda na tungeopa kuwe na mabadiliko katika hiyo na pia governor wetu ndiye tunatembea naye na tuna imani ya kwamba video tumejipanga kwa uwezo wa Mwenyezi Mungu atapita na tutaona mabadiliko Asante sana kwa muda wako. Well, Akisa, those are some of the Jubilee supporters here under the Costa Inter Communities Association speaking to us a number of issues, the politics of Mombasa and, and as well as the, the issues that they would want to be addressed uh, by, uh, by, by, by the, the leadership of Mombasa here come after the general election. Akisa. Francis, uh, thank you for that. Our reporter, Francis.